Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Lisa. This morning, I thought I would just talk about my skincare routine, specifically my morning skincare routine. I've had a couple of requests or questions about the products that I use, and I thought I would just make a little short video about this. So I did cleanse my face this morning as I do every morning. I know that's a little bit controversial. Some people don't like to cleanse their face in the morning because they feel like they don't, uh, that it's just gonna strip it of a, the natural oils and such. But I like to cleanse my face every morning. And this morning I used the Laneige Moisturizing Cream Cleanser. Um, I really, I really enjoy this. It's got a nice fresh scent and um, it just takes just a small little dollop um, and it's very foamy and, and does a really nice job of cleansing. So that's what I used this morning to, to cleanse. The second step is this, uh, this essence. If you're not familiar with an essence, it is not a toner. I mean, I had to do a little bit of research because I've only just recently added this to my skincare routine. I'd say within the last year or two, and um, I wasn't sure what it was, what it did, you know, do I need it? Um, and First of all, Essence is not a toner. Um, if you do use a toner, which I do not, but if you do use a toner, you would use the toner before the Essence. And then this is the Exuviance Tribiotic Lysate Anti-Pollution Essence. This is the bottle. It does have a nice fresh cucumbery scent. Why would you use an Essence? Well, in this case, um, for me, I, I haven't done, like, I did a fair amount of, a fair amount of research, but not, like, super skin carry dermatologist type of, <laughs> of research but um, it's my understanding that what an essence does is actually open up your pores and allow more product to get absorbed into your skin and so you actually get a better bang for your buck dollar wise for the products that you are using because your your skin is absorbing more of those products and it's be it's much more effective for your skin. So as soon as I saw that, I was like, oh, okay, well give me all the essence. So um, this essence I, I really enjoyed. It has a fresh cucumber scent, like I said before. The um, other essences I've used in the past have either felt a little bit oily or they felt and smelled like water. I mean, you just you just kind of felt like you were splashing some water droplets on your face, and they may have been doing some good, but I couldn't really tell. And so it's sad that just the addition of a little bit of fragrance makes me enjoy this more, but, but it does, because it makes me feel like I'm doing more than just splashing some water on my face. So that's my second step, and um, it doesn't take much. I just put, you know, a little, few little drops there on my, on the palm of my hand and just kind of rub it together and then pat it onto my skin like so. And let it sit for about, you know, three to five seconds. Let those pores open up. So before I go on to the next step, I do want to preface this by saying that my skincare routine is not a drugstore skin routine. It's a, it's a little bit pricey. It's not La Mer pricey. But it is a little bit pricey. You don't have to spend a whole lot on your skincare routine, but I think you should spend the best you can afford personally. Your skin is like you, your skin is your skin and you want to take the very best care of it you possibly can. That's why I use sunscreen every single day to protect my skin, but, I, but to care for my skin also, I want to use the very best products that I can afford. So, um, so before anybody screams and goes, oh my God, I can't believe you spent that much on this. This is what I'm choosing to spend my money on. This is what I'm choosing to invest in because I am investing in myself and in my skin. So I said all this to say, um, the next step I use is this SkinCeutical CE Ferulic. It is a uh, vitamin C serum and it has all kinds of good things in it for your skin. I just use kind of like half the dropper full, again, just put it between my fingers like that and apply it to the skin, um, to the face, a little bit on the neck. I was re watching a YouTube video by a dermatologist and she was talking about this product and one of the things she said is like, don't skimp on using this product. Number one, once you open the bottle, the formula actually starts breaking down. So this does not last forever. You want to use it up because it's pricey, it's effective, and it doesn't last forever. Um, so you don't want to waste it by trying to save it or make it last, which is good to know. I mean, you know, that's one of my philosophies. Things are meant to be used. So um, the next 
thing I like to use is this Murad Brightening Boost Professional Concentrate. I don't know if you'll be able to see that uh, label, but um, I just take the little dropper, it does have a little dropper, and I just put a little drop along the hyperpigmentation and, and rub that in. Um, just trying to fade a little bit more on this side, fade those dark spots and keep them from reoccurring. So, this is just a very targeted thing that I do. I do not put that over my entire face. The next thing I use is for my eyes, and that is the uh, Kate Somerville Wrinkle Warrior. And this comes in a little pump like so, and I just do just a little bit on the tip of my finger and um, just dot that in like so. And even on the lids, put that on the lids, along the sides of the, you know, the crow's feet area. I know I don't have any crow's feet yet, but we want to be preventative, so. And even the center of the, um, center of the face right here, where you get those 11s between your eyes. I like to put that there too. And then um, the next thing I like to use is the Kate Somerville Wrinkle Warrior Moisturizer, two-in-one plumpy moisturizer and serum. That's what that looks like there. And it also has a little pump. And I do, I mean, even though it says moisturizer, I use a separate moisturizer and I use kind of two pumps for that. And then I, and this has a, I enjoy the scent of this. I think this has a nice scent and it's a very kind of smoothing, almost blurring type serum. It, it's really got a nice feel against the skin. Um, so I use this as kind of a heavier serum. I love, I love the word serum. I love two words when it comes to skincare, serum and elixir. Put serum and elixir in there and you got a customer in me. <laughs> All right, and then the final thing I use for moisturizer, and I kind of bounce around, but I've been using this for a bit, is the It Cosmetics Secret Sauce. It comes in, I, you can almost see, I've sort of hit the bottom of the glass there. And I get these little spatulas, the, these little plastic spatulas on, um, on Amazon. I scoop that out, so I don't have to like stick my finger in there and cross-contaminate the product. And then I just moisturize this into my skin working this in and again I don't really skimp on this it's very light um, almost like the touch of water cream I would say except just a smidge um, richer and but it, it you know absorbs into the skin really nicely and is a real comfortable moisturizer but again I, I don't know um, I think it's effective and um, I really enjoy this one so this is one I use a couple of times a week uh, maybe sometimes even more than a couple of times. Put back on that, and that's that. That is my skincare routine until I sit at this table and put on the sunscreen later on. So a lot of times I put this on and um, I sip coffee, I might read an article on my iPad or something just to let all of those um, products absorb into the skin before I get into the makeup. So I hope you enjoyed this behind the scenes of what my morning skincare routine looks like. And if you have any questions about the products I've used, feel free to uh, comment below. And thanks for joining me this morning and um, I will see you next time. Bye.